The images are simply stunning and reflect the identity and ancient traditions of the island culture. But is the art of Cook Island tattooing becoming lost? Well, not if our next two guests can help it. They've written a book on this exact topic, a beautiful book. John Utanga and Therese Mangos join me now. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Um, well done on this beautiful book, which I will hold up. Um, a labour of love, I understand, about a, a, what was a, a lost art in some ways. Tell us about it, uh, Therese. Yes, well, um, I suppose... The book came about from when I went to the South Pacific Arts Festival in 92 and at that time there was a revival happening in the islands of tattooing and uh, when I went to uh, look into the, the history behind it all and the patterns that I could draw from in, in order to get a tattoo myself, there was little information around it, it was spread over lots of um, different kind of areas so what I wanted to do was to bring it together and make it accessible to people. Um, of our rich cultural hi history, basically. John, I mean, is there a distinctive pattern about Cook Islands tattoos that com compared to other islands? Um, the patterns for the Cook Islands are cu quite specific to the Cook Islands. If you compare it to, say, the, the Tongan, actually not a lot of Tongan, the Samoan in particular, and Tamoko here in New Zealand, um, as Therese um, suggested, um, Back in 92, there's not a lot of information. You had to dig deep to find stuff and everything. Uh, but over the, the few, last few years, bringing it all together, we've kind of realised that there is quite a rich history mm. and we are sort of piecing together that there were um, distinctive what, patterns. What happened? Why did it, did, why did it sort of come out of favour? Uh, I blame the missionaries. <laughs> a lot of people might disagree with me, but they, they came in, they completely revamped society. They, they mm. sort of worked with the chiefly structures and enacted laws. Essentially, there's a chapter in the Bible that says you can't mark your skin, and pretty much that was the end of it as far as the Cook Islands tattooing was concerned. So it drove it underground, and some parts it completely disappeared. And are you seeing a revival now in terms of younger people? I mean, tattoo is becoming very popular in, in general, but in, you know, Cook Island is living in New Zealand. Are they also getting into it? Oh, definitely. There's... Um been tattooists in the island since the early 90s and what what we've done in the book is actually show those that have been the early pioneers in reviving it but what actually since I've been promoting the book I've discovered other artists in both in New Zealand Australia and in the islands all the younger generation that are now doing it and then you know it's transformed from the early kind of s smaller traditional patterns to now sleeves and a whole backs being tattooed and as a form of identity of we as Cook Islanders all over the world and what sort of Things, well, what are the types of themes that people are, are, are getting tattooed? I mean, are, are there messages in, in the tattoos that they're, they're, they're choosing? Yeah, oh, definitely. Well, it's a personal journey. You know, every, every um, tattoo speaks of some important occasion that happened in their lives or a journey or the, the birth of a child or their family. So that's a really, um, it's a conversation that they have with the artist and that is then um, drawn on the body in a, in a beautiful way using the richness of um, designs that we have in the Cook Islands. And Johnny, is it, we're using modern techniques here, we're not uh, mm. using the, the old ways? That's right, we're using needle gun basically. But just bring, um, bring up a topic that um, Therese touched on, the artists, those guys don't know a lot about our own tattooing um, history as well, so the book is as uh, you know, valuable for mm. them as it is for the people who want tattoos. I think um, earlier we talked about um, the patterns, um, people wanting an authentic tattoo, and that's what we try and offer with this book. You can go through, you can look at it as an artist and uh, you, can, you can create designs from that as, as, a, as a wearer, person who wants a tattoo. You can go to the book and say, okay, this is where I'm from, from this particular island. I can see that these patterns resonated with my people way back. Mm. This is the symbol of my identity. And are the patterns, are they, are they, do they reflect the environment and, you know, in terms of the flora and fauna uh, and those sorts of things? Yeah, well, it's quite, yes, definitely. The natural environment and also the, um, the society, the tribal society that happened in you know, back in the early days. Uh, so they're like Manutai, um, like I've got a design on my arm here, which is a seabird. And um, just hold it up again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's actually featured in the book. If you look at one of these, it's actually a, a bird, but as together, it's, it's called a Manutai, and it's a form of unity. And a lot of the patterns that you'll see and that, that are from the book are reflective of the natural environment. Traditionally, tattooing in our society has been sort of a rebellious thing. It's to mm. break away from the establishment. In the Pacific Island cultures, it's been used very differently. Does the Cook Islands sit somewhere in the middle in terms of there's not this prescribed way where you have to have this tattoo here, but it's a very personal journey? Yeah, it is. A lot of that information was lost as to where on particular parts of the body, and there was a lot of stigma around wearing tattoos in the Cook Islands, especially in the late 80s, early 90s. But we're fortunate that um, one of our uh, master carvers in the island, 
Michael Tavioni, he actually started experimenting himself. And because he was already recognised in the community as a master carver, he helped pave the way so that it was a lot easier for others to follow him and start mm. More their own practice. More yeah. stigma. Mm. That's right. And there has been a renaissance of tattooing in general. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. It would be hard to find it in many Cook Islands without one. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Lovely. Right, John, John Utanga, thank you very much. And Therese Mangos, thank you very much for coming in with a lovely book. Yeah, thank you so much. Cheers. Up next